Hi everyone, it is Koto. I am making printed eye chips for blind dolls with the help of my boyfriend for a while, but in the past I only painted them. Both methods, printed and painted, have the upsides and downsides. Currently I am selling printed eye chips in my shop, but from time to time I am still making painted ones. In this video I am going to show you how I am painting eye chips for my custom blight tools. For painting eye chips you will need acrylic paint. I don't recommend watercolor and gouache because you won't be able to layer the paint on the surface. Today I am using metallic acrylic paint by Arteza and glittery paint by Turner. You can also use simple acrylics to achieve natural designs. I recommend to swatch your colors on paper, so later you can pair the shades easier. On the eye chips you can't really see the color of the turner paint, so look at only the color of the glitters inside in it. You can use eye chips with a black pupil to make more realistic eyes, or you can use blank ones without the black pupil to make fantasy eye chips. Let's see how I painted this pair of eye chips. I am using burnt amber acrylic paint, lame gold glittery paint and two metallic colors, gold and pearl copper gold. I usually paint gradient eye chips, so this is why I use two metallic colors. I'm starting with the glittery base, which I paint with a smaller brush onto the flat surface. After the layer has dried, I am adding the gold paint to the half part of the eye chip. Then I am adding the pearl copper gold color onto the other half. With this technique you will leave small brush strokes on the surface and I really like this effect. You can make seamless side chips by using a bigger brush or a sponge. I am adding 3 or 4 layers of the metallic colors in total, then in the end I am adding the bird amber sheet. If you see any paint on the good side of the eye chips, scratch it down carefully. Here are our golden fantasy eye chips. Now let's make another pair with this technique. This time I am using different colors and I will make a blue icy design. I am using the silver glittery paint with the pearl glacier blue and the pearl sky blue. For the last layers I will use the cold grey and the cerulean blue shades. 
As always, I am starting with the glitters, then I am adding the pearl blue. After 3 or 4 layers, I am adding the blue acrylic paint onto the top of the darker pearl shade. Then I am adding the grey onto the top of the lighter pearl shade. By adding a final acrylic layer, you will protect the design and the glue will not ruin your work after you glue the eye chips into the mechanism. <laughs> Now let's paint a pair of eye chips which have black pupils. At this pair I did not use glitter, but I used three metallic shades and a simple acrylic shade. I am using the gold shade which I paint around the black pupil by rotating the eye chip. I am also painting some straight lines around it, starting from the pupil. This is how the eye chip is looking like after this step. Now I am adding the light pink pearl shade. We will still need to add some more layers. Here I am adding the darker pearl shade. Our final design has started to be visible. I am adding the latest coat of acrylic paint. This is the finished design. I really like this color combination. Will you try to paint eye chips for your blind dolls? Please tag me on Instagram so I can check your beautiful eye chips. Thank you so much for watching. See you at the next one. Bye!